there's so much that is trackable, but I think it's important to set up that kind of consumer funnel to look at how people are, are coming to your site, how they're engaging with it, how they're converting, and then how you know, you're know you delivering that experience and bringing them back to become repeat customers. So much of that can be reliant on marketing automation and it can be tracked and measured right down to an ROI metric. Beyond that, there's a lot that you can do just around branding, experiences you have on your site, little ways that you add in that company ethos or culture into the experience that make it less transactional, make it less transactional and more of a a immersive brand experience for them. You can't always track if you put, say, a mailer in with a specific thank you message as part of a, a package someone's receiving. But, you know, that may be just the right moment to really like pull on some heartstrings and connect with the consumer in a way that will bring them back long term and develop that loyalty between the, the customer and the brand. So it's a blend of having that scientific approach that's really measurable. And then layering in things that are really authentic to the brand and what you're doing, make it a good blend of marketing. And I think part of that's also really experimentation and being open to trying some new things. Certainly you wouldn't want to spend a ton of time and money on something that you can't measure all that well, but it's important to continue to try things and understand that approach and see how it works into your marketing mix. 